In this video, I'm going to go over simple XY plots with you in MATLAB. So to start with, we're just basically going to plot points. So the first thing I need is an X equals 0. We'll go by 2. And let's go to 20. So now I have a vector of X values. I need some Y values corresponding to those. So I'll say Y equals X squared. Say we'll do a parabola. Notice I need the dot power because I'm not doing vector multiplication, just doing element by element. So now I have two vectors, same size, and they're basically just a list of x and y. So we could say plot x and y. If you wait for just a second, you'll see in MATLAB often um, if it's a built-in function, it will give you some ideas on what to plot. So we'll just plot x and y. And up pops a figure, figure 1. There are no titles or anything about it. It happens to be just a plot of the x and y vectors. At this point, I could add things in, like I could add uh, an x label. I could call this uh, x, and I could say insert. Um, let's give it a title um, example, something like that. But that's not good practice. All of the commands I'm putting into the command window here would normally be showing up in a, a function or script file. So in that function or script file, I actually want to put in the titles, put in um, the legend, put in the X labels, that sort of thing. And all of these are built in to MATLAB. I could say X label. And again, if I wait for a second, it'll tell me some options. One is to just enter a string. Uh, whatever I want the X label to be has to be in single quotes. So let's say it's, um, say the X coordinate on this is, say, T for time, comma, um, seconds. All right, so everything within that single quote will show up on the on the plot. Now hit enter. The plot is still there. It's sort of in the background, so we'll go get it. Here it is, and you can see that the the x label was changed to t seconds. And that's how you want to do it. You can also add title. Again, it's the same idea. Uh, in single quotes, we'll say parabola. Hit enter, go find your function, and there it is. So all of this can be entered in, as you normally would, uh, into a function or a script file. It would just be a long series of statements. You can say Y label, that type of thing. Let's uh, graph something else. We can plot two uh, functions on the same graph. I'm going to use the same x values. Let's plot y equals x cubed. Great. Now if I say plot, notice on the second one we have x1, y1, it would be x2, y2. I'm going to keep all the x uh, inputs the same. I'm just going to have two different y values. Now I made a mistake because you notice I still only have two uh, vectors. So let's change my parabola. It was y equals x squared. Let's change it to z equals x squared. Oh, I used a capital X. Yes, well, oh, how nice. I don't know why I have caps locks on, but that happens from time to time. So it didn't remember, this is a great example, MATLAB is case sensitive. It didn't know what X I was talking about. It corrected it and said, did you mean the lowercase X? Yes, I did, but I want to keep everything in lowercase. Hit enter, and now I have three vectors. So I'm going to plot X comma z, the parabola, and then I'm also going to plot 
x. Before I do hitting return, notice it says line spec. Um, that might be something you'd want to look up. There are things called property name and property value. Those are also things that you're going to want to look up in the help. We'll take a look at that a little bit later, but for now we'll keep it simple. And we'll plot z and y. Hit enter. And now we have two, we have a, a, a cubed and a squared function here. If I wanted to put a legend, I could do so. And I just put in whatever strings I need for that legend. So I'll be using this top one. So just put in what you want it, what you want to call it. Let's see. Z, I believe, was the uh, parabola. So let's say uh, square. That's the squared function. And the second one was y, which was the cubic. All right. I'm going to say, OK, add that legend to the graph. And you can see we have a legend. We could plot three or four, it doesn't really matter how many functions on here. It's nice to have a legend if you're graphing more than one. Make sure you title all your plots, x, y, units, that sort of thing. We can close out of this. So again, go into help, plot. And you'll see we've got how to enter a title, how to have a grid, subplots we'll look at much later. For now, we're just going to plot simple x and